students today we discuss the remaining part of earthworm or feridima bosma in the last class we discussed the introduction to blood vascular system what are the remaining systems associated with the body of earthworm or feridima one we call it as the nervous system the next one is excretory system then the reproductive system and finally the development let us discuss the nervous system of earthworm as we observe the body of earthworm the nervous system is classified into central nervous system and peripheral nervous system in the body of earthworm the nervous system classified into central nervous system and peripheral nervous system now in the central nervous system what are present what are the components of central nervous system one we call it as the nerve ring and the second one we call it as double ventral solid nerve cord now what about the peripheral nervous system the nerves arise from the nerve ring and the nerves arise from the ganglia of nerve cord again it is repeating the nervous system in the body of earthworm is classified into central nervous system peripheral nervous system what are the components of central nervous system one is nerve ring second one double ventral solid nerve cord now as we observe in all invertebrates as we observe the nerve cord the nerve cord is present on the ventral side so as we observe the invertebrates the body of invertebrates can be opened from the dorsal side from the dorsal side as we observe the chordata animals in case of chordata animals the nerve cord present on the dorsal side so in chordata animals the body can be opened from the ventral side from the ventral side now we have to discuss some important bits regarding the nervous system as we observe the nervous system what are the bits we have to observe now the first one the nervous system is developed from now what are the options ectoderm endoderm mesoderm ecto endoderm now we have to discuss some important points regarding this bit the nervous system in all animals the nervous system is derived from what type of germ layer the ectoderm we are having a good idea regarding the nervous tissue in the animal organization as we observe the nervous tissue in the nervous tissue the neurons and glial cells are present as we observe the central nervous system in the central nervous system microglial cells are present as we observe the central nervous system microglial cells are present as we observe the microglial cells the microglial cells are the only cells of nervous tissue derived from the mesoderm because as we observe the microglial cells the precursors the precursors of microglial cells originated from the bone marrow we know very well the bone marrow or the bony tissue derived from mesoderm in the bone marrow the precursors of microglial cells are present so in the nervous tissue only microglial cells are derived from mesoderm remaining all components derived from ectoderm now 
based on this information now we observe the question nervous system is derived from or developed from one is ectoderm second one endoderm third one mesoderm fourth one ecto endoderms what is the correct answer the ectoderm now as we observe the microglial cells these are the only cells of nervous tissue derived from the mesoderm now we observe the next question naru card in feritima starts from now as we observe the nervous system of earthworm this is the third segment and this is the fourth segment and this is fifth segment and so on and this is the last segment 120th segment now in the third segment supra pharyngeal ganglia present in the fourth segment sub pharyngeal ganglia present these are connected by circum pharyngeal connectivities from the sub pharyngeal ganglia two longitudinal nerve cords arise they extending up to the last segment now what is our question the nerve cord in feritima starts from in case of invertebrates how many nerve cords two so it is double how they are arranged longitudinally where nerve cord present on the ventral side now as we observe the nerve cord the nerve cord starts from fourth segment name the ganglia from which the nerve cord arises sub pharyngeal ganglia now we observe the question nerve cord in feritima starts from one is supra pharyngeal ganglia it is also called cerebral ganglia or brain second one sub pharyngeal ganglia third one supra esophageal fourth one sub esophageal regarding earthworm the double ventral solid nerve cord arises from sub pharyngeal ganglia which are present in fourth segment now what is the answer the second one now we go for the next question assertion in feritima epidermal receptors work as mechano receptors reason they detect ground vibrations now we discuss what are the sense organs in the body of earthworm in the body of earthworm the sense organs are also called the receptors how they are classified one is epidermal receptors second one buccal receptors and the third one photoreceptors now as we observe the epidermal receptors they are also called tactile receptors they are also called tango receptors where epidermal receptors are present they are present all over body name the receptors present all over body epidermal receptors the epidermal receptors more on ventero lateral sides the epidermal receptors more on ventero lateral sides now as we observe the epidermal receptors they help to know the ground vibrations they help to know the ground vibrations they help to know the touch they help to know the footprints now as we observe the assertion and the reason now the assertion in feritima epidermal receptors work as mechano receptors it is correct what is the reason they detect ground vibrations as we observe the epidermal receptors 
they are present all over the body they help to know the ground vibrations to know the touch to know the footprints based on this the epidermal receptors are also known as mechano receptors or tactile receptors or tango so here a and r are correct r e explains the a now we go for the next question wa distinguishing character of buccal receptor cells of ferritima now as we observe the buccal receptors now as we observe the buccal receptors where buccal receptors are present now this part we call it as the mouth the mouth opens into the buccal cavity the buccal cavity is lined inside by buccal epithelium in the buccal epithelium what are present the buccal receptors the structure of buccal receptors is similar to that of the structure of epidermal receptors as we observe the buccal receptors they are made by the columnar cells the buccal receptors made by columnar cells in the buccal receptor in each cell the nucleus is present at the base now the free surface having the sensory hair now as we observe what is the distinguishing feature of buccal receptor cells of ferritima now what is the first option nuclei present on the lateral sides of the cells second nuclei on the upper sides of the cells third nuclei in the center of the cells fourth option now as we observe the buccal receptor it is made by columnar cells they are in the form of group now in the buccal receptor in each cell the nucleus is at the base or the nucleus is deeply arranged the free surface having sensory hair now what is the important character of buccal receptor how can we identify buccal receptor in the buccal receptor the nucleus present in the deeper parts now what is the correct answer for this question the fourth option now move for the next question as we observe the next question the ganglia present in the groove separating buccal chamber and pharynx in ferritima now as we observe this is third segment and this is the fourth segment and this is second segment and first segment as we observe the first segment on the ventral side on the ventral side of first segment what is present the mouth the mouth opens into buccal cavity as we observe the buccal cavity part of buccal cavity present in the first segment it is also present in the second segment it is also present in the part of third segment now here what is the question the ganglia present in the groove separating buccal chamber and pharynx now as we observe what is the groove that separates the buccal chamber and the pharynx as we observe the pharynx the pharynx present in third segment and fourth segment the buccal cavity present in the first segment second segment and part of the third segment now this is the pharynx now this one we call it as the groove on this groove what type of ganglia present the supra pharyngeal ganglia what is the other name of supra pharyngeal ganglia cerebral ganglia or brain now what is the answer the ganglia present in the groove separating buccal chamber 
and pharynx in ferritima. One is subpharyngeal. Subpharyngeal present in the fourth segment. Now, second, cerebral ganglia. What is the other name of cerebral ganglia? Sopra-pharyngeal. Now, what is the correct answer? The second one, cerebral ganglia or sopra-pharyngeal ganglia or the brain. Now, go for the next question. The following are the ganglia on the nerve cord in the nervous system of earthworm. Now, as we observe the nervous system of earthworm, these are suprapharyngeal ganglia, these are subpharyngeal ganglia, both are connected by circumpharyngeal connectivities. Now, around pharynx, this is pharynx. Around the pharynx, what is the present nerve ring? In the nerve ring, how many ganglia present? Four ganglia. Now, from the subpharyngeal ganglia, what will arise? Double ventral solid nerve cord. The double ventral solid nerve cord starts from fourth segment. Now, from fifth segment to last segment, on the nerve cord, what are present? Segmentally arranged ganglia. Once again, it is repeating. On the nerve cord, what type of ganglia are present? Segmentally arranged ganglia. Now, what type of ganglia present on nerve cord? Segmentally arranged ganglia. On nerve cord, segmentally arranged ganglia going to start from fifth segment to the last segment. Now, what is the answer for this question? First option, segmental ganglia. Second option, subpharyngeal ganglia. Third option, circumpharyngeal connectivities. Fourth option, suprapharyngeal ganglia. Now, the correct answer is segmental ganglia because on nerve cord what type of ganglia? Segmentally arranged ganglia. That is, the first option is the correct. Now, we go for the next question. <coughs> Receptor cells of earthworm present in. Now, as we observe the body wall of earthworm, this part we call it as cuticle. Now, the second part we call it as the epidermis. Now, as we observe the epidermis, in the epidermis, how the cells are arranged? They are arranged in one layer. In the epidermis, what type of epithelium present? Simple columnar epithelial cells. Now, in the epidermis, what type of cells are present? The large gland cells. And the second one we call it as the basal cells. Third one we call it as supporting cells. And the last one we call it as sensory cells. Now, as we observe the sensory cells, they are also called the receptors. Now, here what is the question? The receptor cells of earthworm are present in. One is cuticle. It is non-cellular. Second, epidermis. It is cellular. In the epidermis, what are the receptor cells? The sensory cells. Now, what is the correct answer? The receptor cells are present in which layer of body wall? The epidermis. Now, the correct answer is second. Now, go for the next question. Now, as we observe the next question, assertion, Naru impulse transmission is rapid throughout the length of double ventral Naru cord of ferritima. Again, it is repeating. Naru impulse propagation or transmission is rapid throughout the length of double ventral Naru cord of ferritima. Now, as we observe the body of ferritima, 
This is called double ventral solid nerve cord. We know very well in all invertebrates as we observe the nerves. What type of nerves are present? Non myelinated, non myelinated axons are present. Because of the non myelinated axons, the nerve impulse propagation is very, very, very slow. So that in the body of invertebrates, for the rapid nerve impulse propagation in the nerve cord, what are present? The joint axons are present. What is the other name of axon? That we call it as the nerve fiber. How many joint axons are present? Four. On the dorsal side, one joint axon. On the lateral sides, two joint axons. On the ventral side, one joint axon. The joint axon which is present on the ventral side is not distinct. It is not clear. So, in the body of erythema, as we observe the nerve cord, in the nerve cord, four joint axons are present. Because of these joint axons, the nerve impulse propagation or transmission is rapid. Now we observe the question. Nerve impulse propagation is rapid throughout the length of double ventral nerve cord of iridema. It is correct. What is the reason? Four joint axons are present on the nerve cord. So, both are correct. R explains A. Now, go for the next question. Now, as we observe the next question, the next question, sense organs of earth to arm are present in. Now, here, as we observe the sense organs in the body of earth to arm, the sense organs are also called the receptors. What type of cells act as the sense organs, the sensory cells, where the sensory cells are present in the epidermis, so that the epidermis derived from what type of germ layer? Ectoderm. As epidermis derived from ectoderm, the sensory cells or sense organs or receptors are also derived from the ectoderm. Now, the question is, sense organs of earthworm are present in, one is cuticle, it is non-cellular, no sense organs, epidermis, it is cellular, so sense organs are present in epidermis. What about the dermis? It is made by connective tissue. What about the basement membrane? The dermis is also called the basement membrane. Now, Move for the next question. Now, the nerve cord starts from. Now, as we observe the nervous system, this is the fourth segment. In the fourth segment, what are present? Subpharyngeal ganglia. From the subpharyngeal ganglia, what is going to start? The nerve cord. So, the nerve cord is going to start from fourth segment. What are the ganglia that gives rise to nerve cord? Subpharyngeal ganglia. So, the answer is the fourth segment. Now, go for the next question. Assertion. The nerve ring, the nerve ring is present around the pharynx in ferritima. Now, what is the reason? The nerve ring contains four ganglia. Now, as we observe the nerve ring in the body of earthworm, now this is called the third segment, this is the fourth segment. In the third segment, suprapharyngeal ganglia, in the fourth segment, subpharyngeal ganglia. Both are connected by circumpharyngeal connectivities. If Circumpharyngeal connectivities are removed, there is no formation of nerve ring. In the nerve ring, 
how many ganglia present? 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, as we observe the assertion, the nerve ring is present around the pharynx in feritima, 100% correct. Now, what is the reason? The nerve ring contains 4 ganglia. Now, both are correct or explains A. Now, the next one. The next question. <coughs> Match the following. Now, group 1 and group 2. Now, in the group A, one is epidermal receptors and B, olfactory receptors and the third one is gustatory receptors and the fourth one is photoreceptors. Now, group B, one is taste, one is light intensity, third one smell, fourth one tango and the last one thermoreceptors. Now, once again, we have to observe the group A. In the group A, one is epidermal receptors, second one is olfactory receptors, third one is gustatory receptors and the last one is the photoreceptors. Now, the olfactory receptors and gustatory receptors are known as the buccal receptors. Now, epidermal receptors, they are also called mechanoreceptors or tactile receptors or tango. They help to know the touch, to know ground vibrations, to know the footprints. What about the olfactory receptors? They help to know the smell. What about the gustatory? They help to know the taste. What about the photoreceptor? In the photoreceptor, L-shaped lens is present. Though lens is present, there is no image formation. The photoreceptors help to know the intensity of light. Now, as we observe the comparison, in the body of photoreceptors are compared to that of the retinulae of vomitidium as well as the photoreceptors are compared to that of acylli. What is meant by acylli? Simplize. The acylli also act as photoreceptors. Retinulae, they are present in the vomitidium. They also act as the photoreceptors. So, the photoreceptors of earthworm compare to that of retinulae of vomitidium, acylli, they are nothing but the simple eyes or the finisterae. Now, the correct answer, epidermal receptors associated with tango, olfactory receptor, the smell, gustatory receptors, the taste, photoreceptors, the light intensity. Now, go for the next question. Now, the sperms in ferritima are produced by. Now, we have to discuss the reproductive system of earthworm or ferritima. The sperms in ferritima are produced by. Now, as we observe the male reproductive system, this is the 10th segment, 11th segment and this is the 10th segment. In the 10th segment, what are present? One pair of testes. In the 11th segment, one pair of testes. In the kingdom animalia, in the body of earthworm, as we observe the testes, the testes produce the diploid spermatogonia. The diploid spermatogonia. Once again repeated, in the kingdom animalia, in the body of earthworm, the testes produce diploid spermatogonia. What is the other name of spermatogonia? The sperm mother cells. Now, as we observe the 11th segment, in the 11th segment, the seminal vesicles are present. In the 10th segment, seminal vesicles are present. Now, 
the spermatogonia they enter into seminal vesicles in the seminal vesicles what process is going on the spermatogenesis what is the other name of spermatogenesis the reduction division so in the seminal vesicles because of the spermatogenesis what will be produced the haploid spermatozoa now based on this information we have to observe the answer the sperms in feritima are produced by one is testis second one seminal vesicles third testis sacs fourth prostate glands now what is the correct answer the seminal vesicles now go for the next question spermatogonia undergo maturation division what is meant by maturation division nothing but spermatogenesis what is the other name of spermatogenesis reduction division now as we observe the testes they produce diploid spermatogonia they are also called the sperm other cells now the diploid number becomes a haploid by reduction division or meiosis 1 now based on this information spermatogonia undergo maturation division or spermatogenesis or reduction in one one is testis second one testis sacs third one septal pouches now you have to observe the third option in the 11th segment what are present seminal vesicles in the 12th segment seminal vesicles are present now this part we call it as septum now this part we call it as septum now as we observe the seminal vesicles they arise from septum of corresponding segment so seminal vesicles are also called the septal pouches why they are called septal pouches they develop or arise as pouches from the septum so they called septal pouches in the septal pouches the spermatogonia undergo reduction division or maturation or spermatogenesis now the correct answer is third option septal pouches now go for the next question in feritima the secretion of prostate gland are believed to be helping in the formation of generally the students are committing mistake regarding this question now again repeating in feritima the secretion of prostate glands are believed to be helping in the formation of now as we observe the male reproductive system in the male reproductive system on each side what are present the vasa deferentia now associated with male reproductive system white irregular prostate glands are present again repeating associated with male reproductive system white irregular prostate glands are present they are from 16 to 2 20th segment or 17th to 21st segment now here the question is the secretions of prostate glands are believed to be helping in the formation of generally in the earthworm body prostate glands secretions help in the formation of spermatophore now what is meant by spermatophore the bundle of spermatozoa what is meant by spermatophore the bundle of spermatozoa now this is one bundle in this bundle the spermatozoa are present the prostate gland secretions help in the formation of spermatophore but here the asking question is in the body of feridima now in the body of feridima 
the prostate glands secretions function is not known one is sperms second one spermatogonia third one spermatophores fourth one unknown in the body of erythema the function of prostate glands is not clearly known but in other earthworms prostate gland secretions help in the formation of spermatophore spermatophore is the bundle of spermatozoa now go for the next question segments of ferritima with accessory glands now as we observe the body of ferritima this is the 17th segment and 19th segment on the 17th and 19th segment what are present two pairs of accessory glands are present in associated with accessory glands what are present the genital papillae now you have to listen as we observe the accessory glands these are the glands what about the genital papillae they are structures number of genital papillae two pairs number of accessory glands two pairs now the accessory glands and genital papillae they help to attach to earthworms at the time of copulation at the time of copulation but how the question framing is what are the structures help to attach earthworms then the answer is genital papillae what are the glands help to attach the two earthworms then the answer is accessory glands accessory glands two pairs genital papillae two pairs both are present in 17th and 19th segment now the answer is fourth one now go for the next question now in ferritima spermatogonia are produced from spermatogonia are produced from now this is 10th segment 11th segment in the 10th segment two one pair of testes in the 11th segment second pair of testes now the testes produce diploid spermatogonia what is the other name of spermatogonia sperm mother cells they are produced by first pair of testes second pair of testes which are in 10th and 11th segments now what is the answer testes now <coughs> in ferritima in ferritima spermatogonia produced by testes and spermatozoa produced by seminal vesicles or septal pouches now the next question ovi ducts penetrates the inter segmental septum present between these segments now here the question is the ovi ducts penetrates the inter segmental septum present between these segments now as we observe female reproductive system in the female reproductive system first segment second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth eleventh twelfth and thirteen now this is the twelfth segment and thirteenth segment now in the twelfth segment what are present one pair of ovaries are present now <coughs> in the between the twelfth and thirteenth segment what is present the septum present now in the thirteenth segment what are present one pair of ovaries are present now in the thirteenth segment below ovaries what are present ovi jocular funnels the ovi jocular funnels open into the ovi ducts now these are called the ovi ducts these are called the ovaries now this is the 14th segment now as we observe between 13th and 14th segment what is present the septum now 
in the thirteenth segment one pair of ovaries in the thirteenth segment one pair of ov jugular canals they open into ov ducts number of ov ducts one pair the ov ducts pass through the septum present between thirteenth and fourteenth segment in the fourteenth segment they unite and on the ventral side they open through the female genital pore now the ov ducts passing through the septum present between 13th segment and 14th segment now move for the next question the number of vasa differentia in the 17th segment number of vasa differentia in the 17th segment now this is the 10th segment 11th segment 12th segment 13th segment 14th segment 15 16 17 18 up to this regarding the male reproductive system they are enough now we know very well in the 10th, the 10th segment first pair of testes in the 11th segment second pair of testes in the 10th segment in the 11th segment first pair of seminal vesicles in the 12th segment second pair of seminal vesicles now in the 10th segment spermi jugal funnels in the 11th segment spermi jugal funnels now their margin having the cilia now these are called spermi jugal funnels now each spermi jugal funnel opens into the corresponding vasa differentia now in the body of ferritima how many vasa differentia four or two pairs now the two vasa differentia they unite in the 12th segment and continue up to 18th segment they continue up to 18th segment now as we observe the vasa differentia regarding the question in the 12th segment how many vasa differentia 1 2 3 4 number of vasa differentia 4 what is the other name of vasa differentia the male gonoducts now the other name of vasa differentia is also called the male gonoducts now go for the next question